Hello everyone, this is Latif and welcome to the second episode of Learn Street Fighter brought to you by the Razor Academy. Before I get started in this episode, I just want to tell you guys that this episode is a continuation of my first video. So if you haven't seen the first one, please watch it before you get this one started. Now, in this episode, I'm going to talk about five basic aspects of the game. Starting off with EX moves, then moving on to supers and ultras, then talking about focus attacks and focus cancelling. Now, let's move on to super and ultra combos. In order to be able to use super combo, you would have to fill up your super gauge completely, which means filling your four EX bars. There are three ways to fill up your super gauge. One would be dealing damage to your opponent, and another would be executions, executing special moves, such as Shoryuken, Hadouken, or Hurricane Kick. And the last way and slowest way would be blocking your opponent attacks or getting hit by it. Now, executing a super combo is not complicated. I mentioned earlier how to execute a regular fireball or regular Hadouken, as some people would say. Uh, you would do a uh, Kurosaka forward punch, light punch, medium punch, or heavy punch. Um, uh, for super combo, instead of doing one quarter circle forward, you have to you have you would have to do it twice. So it'll be like this. Now each button would have a different uh, priority than the other one. So I did the light punch just now. I'll do it again. You saw how the uh, Hadouken travels. Now I would do the medium punch. It's slightly faster, but it doesn't show as much. Now I'll do it with the fierce punch. You guys can tell the difference from that one. Now for ultra combos. For ultra combos, you need to fill up your ultra gauge. Um, one way to fill up your ultra gauge is by just getting hit from your opponent. And there is another way, which I'll be talking about in a bit later on in this tutorial. Now execute, executing ultra combos is also not complicated. Um, it's pretty much the same way as executing your super combo, however, Instead of doing light punch or medium punch or heavy punch, you would have to press them all at the same time. So it'll be two quarters so for you. It'll be two quarter so forwards, uh, three punches. For some other characters, it might be two quarter so backward, uh, maybe kicks instead of punches or forward kicks. Uh, some other characters have charge ultras, uh, which is completely. It has a different. Uh, completely different execution, executing style than those those kind of uh, characters. Next, we're gonna talk about focus attacks. Now, focus attack is a move that let you attack while you absorb damage caused by your opponent moves. In order to execute this attack, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is hold down medium punch and medium kick at the same time. Now, to perform a full strength focus attack, hold buttons, hold down the buttons until the attack is unleashed automatically as we can see here there are three levels of focus attacks level one level two is basically when you see Ryu flashes and level three all the way down until it unleashes automatically each focus attack has a different priority than the other one level one deals a minimum amount of damage and on counter hit it puts your opponent on a crumpling position and which will be explained in level two attack Level 2 attack, as I mentioned, is when Ryu flashes. As you can see, can fall down to the ground, meaning that it gives you an opportunity to combo into whatever you want. Let's do a Shoryuken afterwards. Two hit combo. Level 3 is the same thing as level 2, however, it deals more damage, and if the opponent tries to block it, he cannot because it's an unblockable. Now, when you do a focus attack, you don't want to just sit there and not do anything so basically as you can see the recovery is pretty slow so when I hit Ken even on hit he can easily punish me so what I want to do when I execute a focus attack I want to cancel it with either a dash backward or a dash forward dash backward to reposition myself dash forward to get in into my opponent and rush him down now, with the focus attack, you can absorb up to one hit. And I'll show you guys an example. I'm gonna put Ken on record mode. And... He did a fireball. 
Playback. I absorbed it. As you can see, my health turns white. A little bit amount. Uh, that means that this amount will regenerate in time. So only one hit. Only one hit. Now let's do two hit attack. Which will be an EX move. A good example. So let's do an EX fireball. Now I'm going to try to focus this attack and see what happened. Mm, it didn't go through. Let me put it on record mode again. I got hit. Let me try to backdash. I got hit. Dash forward also got me hit. So basically you only want to focus attack only one hit to try to absorb it and then reposition yourself from there by dashing forward to get in or dashing backward to get out. Last thing we're going to talk about in this episode is going to be about focus canceling. Focus canceling is basically canceling special moves with a focus attack so that you could deal more damage to your opponent or to put yourself in a better safe position it takes two bars in order to cancel a focus attack now I'm gonna de demonstrate how to execute uh, this method um, so this is how an uppercut looks like now there are three steps into, us into using focus canceling so basically I do an uppercut and then I do a focus attack as we mentioned you hold down the two buttons you see how it looks like then you have to dash forward if you want to combo into it or dash backward if you want to put yourself in a better positioning in case the opponent blocks it so let's say you want to do you want to dash forward into and perform an ultra combo so it'll look like this it dealt fairly a good amount of damage and in case the opponent blocks it if he blocks, you don't want to have all the Shoryuken ripped out because he'll have plenty of time to punish with whatever he wants. So you would want to focus backdash to put yourself in a safer position. Now, when using a focus attack as a cancel, it has the same properties as a regular focus attack minus the armor. It means that when it means that you cannot absorb an attack when the opponent tries to hit you in between. So let's say you do um, a focus attack then you hold down this button to you know perform a level 3 focus you cannot do it because a good player or a good opponent will hit you in between and you cannot absorb that hit um, it's, it's hard to show an example in training mode without a, a person who plays but basically when you hold it down you cannot absorb any attack the opponent if, if the opponent do a regular fireball you'll get hit that's what I'm trying to say now this concludes this concludes the second episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow the Razor Academy channel for more content. And please leave your comments, positive or negative. I will make sure to read it through and try to make the next episode much better. Thank you all again and have a good day.